What's going on? It's Jack. Welcome to the video. Today we've got four meal prep ideas that need no reheating. So essentially something you could take to work if you don't have a microwave or take on a trip when you don't have access to a microwave or something to reheat it. These are four high protein meals that you can take with you and not need to reheat. First thing we're gonna be doing is making some protein parfaits or protein yogurt parfaits, whatever you wanna call them. So we've got some Greek yogurt right here. We've got this, what is this? This is the Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt vanilla. If you guys can see that, very common in most grocery stores. I get all this from Kroger. And then we've got some protein granola. This is the Nature Valley version. So this is actually per serving, 13 grams of protein. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna be making three servings. We're gonna use this entire Greek yogurt pack. And then we need 300 grams of strawberries, 300 grams of blueberries, 150 grams of blackberries, 150 grams of raspberries, and then we need three servings of any kind of protein granola. Each parfait is gonna get a third of this container. So this is five servings. So each one's gonna get a little over one serving of Greek yogurt. I'll read off the exact amount real quick. Each parfait is gonna get 283 grams of Greek yogurt. That is this container split into three. It's gonna get 100 grams of blueberries, 100 grams of strawberries, 50 grams of raspberries, 50 grams of blackberries, and then 65 grams of our protein granola, which is one serving per parfait. We're gonna put the parfaits or the yogurt and fruit in these containers and then our granola in this container. So when you actually have the meal, you just take the granola and pour it on top of the parfait. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and put the parfaits together. I need to cut some fruit and just fill up these bowls. And just like that, you have your three yogurt parfaits prepped and ready to go whenever you need it. So the total calories for one of these parfaits, including the granola, is 557 calories. It is 89 grams of carbs, only eight grams of fat, and 39 grams of protein. This is a great grab-and-go snack. I personally love Greek yogurt, fruit, and granola. So for me, this is an easy no-brainer. Something easy you can have in the morning, you're gonna take it on the go. But that is prep option number one, a protein yogurt parfait. Now let's head on to option number two. Meal prep option number two is gonna be a protein pasta salad. We're not saving the best for last. We're saving or putting the best and biggest meal prep second, in my opinion. So we got two boxes of our bonza pasta. This is a chickpea protein pasta. You guys can see it right there. You do not have to use bonza. You can use any protein pasta. There are a few different variations out there, but in order to get the most protein, definitely recommend a chickpea or a protein pasta. Then we got these boar head turkey pepperonis. These are key to making it a little bit more high protein. You could do regular pepperonis as well or some salami. Then we've got a block of Colby Jack cheese. I just went with Kroger brand and Colby Jack, but you can really use any cheese you want. We're gonna be using this whole block. We've got cucumber, green pepper, a tomato, some Parmesan cheese, and then also fat-free Italian dressing. So real quick, I'm gonna go over the amounts of each and then we'll go ahead and actually make it. This recipe calls for two boxes or 16 ounces of our pasta, that is 16 ounces dry. Then we have our turkey pepperonis, we're gonna use both bags. Each bag is 4.5 servings at 28 grams per serving. So that comes out to be 252 grams of turkey pepperoni. Then we've got one whole tomato. This is about a medium sized tomato. One bell pepper or a green pepper. And then also 300 grams of cucumber. This is gonna add a lot of volume and a little bit of texture to our pasta. Then we're using one whole block of Colby Jack cheese. This is eight ounces, also 224 grams of cheese. Then we're using eight servings of Parmesan cheese, which comes out to be 16 tablespoons or 40 grams of cheese. And the last thing, we're using eight servings of our fat-free Italian, which comes out to be 16 tablespoons or 256 grams. Now, first things first, we need to cook up this pasta. I will say one tip is to cook it a little bit longer than it recommends. So if it recommends seven to nine minutes, probably go to like 11 or 12. It just makes sure the pasta can hold on to the dressing, cheese, and everything else a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead, cook this up. Pasta, super simple, boil some water. Add salt to the water. Once the water is boiling, add your pasta. Follow the directions on the back of the box. They're super basic directions. Bring a large pot of salted water to boil. 
about eight cups per box, and then add your bonza, stir, reduce to a simmer, cook to desired firmness, and then also strain and rinse. The chickpea pasta tends to have a little bit of like a coating at the end of the pasta. So go ahead, throw it on some water. And also we want it to cool off before we add the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna cook it, let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then during that 20 minutes, we're gonna cut up everything. We're gonna cut up our pepperoni, our cucumber, our cheese, everything else into small pieces, maybe about a half inch by a half inch. And then it just comes to assembly. So let's get cooking. I'm gonna cook this up real quick, cut all this up, and then it's assembly time. All right, hopefully you guys don't mind that I cut everything up off camera. I figured you guys don't need to see me cut up some pepperoni, cheese, and vegetables. We do have our pasta here nice and cooked. I also let it sit for about 20 minutes to cool off. Yeah, perfect. Because we don't want to add everything when it's warm or hot because the vegetables will kind of get gross and we don't really want the cheese to melt. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and mix it. I literally don't think this bowl is gonna be big enough and it is the biggest bowl in the house. So we're gonna try to add this and just mix it all together. This is the turkey pepperonis, the cheese, the tomato, cucumber, peppers, all that stuff. Boom. All right, so we got that in there. We're gonna go ahead and toss it gently. We don't wanna like tear up all the pasta. So we're just kind of fold it into each other. Alrighty, and then the next thing we need to do, we need to add our Parmesan cheese and our dressing. Once again, eight servings of our Parmesan cheese and eight servings of our dressing. We're gonna be adding 40 grams. Then we're gonna add 256 grams of our fat-free Italian. And what I'm gonna do real quick is move some of this into this bowl so I can fold it a little bit easier without it spilling all over the place. And then once it's all mixed, I'll go ahead and read you guys the macros. Now everything's kind of folded together, I'll go ahead and read off the total calories for the entire thing as well as the proportions I'm gonna break it up into. So for the entire thing, it is 3,884 calories, 372 grams of carbs, 163 grams of fat, and then 288 grams of protein. I'm gonna break this up into eight servings. So each serving is gonna be 432 calories, it's gonna be 41 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein. I personally think those macros are phenomenal for something like a pasta salad, which pretty much has no meat in it besides like the turkey pepperonis. Otherwise, this looks absolutely delicious to me. Oops. But I'm gonna get some close-ups of this. I think it looks so dang good. And this is something, again, you can take with you anywhere. Keep it refrigerated for as long as you can. But you can probably take it out and even eat it throughout the day, whatever it is. But I'm gonna show you guys up close and personal because this looks so good. Another thing as far as dividing this up into servings, it's not gonna be exact because we aren't gonna have the exact same amount of pasta, pepperoni, cucumbers, cheese per serving. But as a whole, it's gonna be very, very close to the macros I just read out. So don't worry about too much. Just go ahead and divide it into eight containers. You could do four containers and double the serving. I'm personally probably gonna double the servings and add it into four containers because I'm on a bulk right now and 400 calories isn't really a full meal. I probably need it closer to 800. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I am so stoked with this recipe. I want you guys to try it. It is one of my favorites, and like I said, we're not saving best for last. Best is second, and we'll go ahead and move on to our third option. And the third meal prep option I have for you guys is a BLTT, or bacon, lettuce, tomato, and turkey wrap. We have our Extreme Wellness Tortillas right here, my go-to. These are only 50 calories a pop. We've got some lettuce here, obviously romaine lettuce for a little bit of crunch, a tomato. We've got our deli turkey, so super simple with that. No prep needed at all. And then some thick cut bacon. I highly recommend the thick cut for these just because they taste way better. And then of course our fat-free ranch is our condiment. You can see that right there. The only prep you really need to do is cut up your tomato as well as cook your bacon. So let's head on over and cook this up. A couple things you're gonna want before you get cooking. One, I highly recommend tongs to flip your bacon. And then also, 
a plate with some paper towels on top just to place your cooked bacon. Each wrap is gonna get three full slices of the bacon. So however many wraps you wanna make, that's how much bacon you wanna cook. I'm personally just gonna make one wrap, so I need three slices of bacon. Cook it however you want. You could put it in the oven, you could put it in the air fryer. I just don't recommend microwaving this bacon. It's too good a quality, definitely cook it a different way. I personally like stove tops, so that's what we're gonna do. Hit our warm pan with a touch of non-stick, and then cook your bacon to whatever point you like. If you like it chewier, make it chewy. If you like it overdone, do it overdone. Personally, I like it a tad bit overdone to add a little bit of crunch. And then we have our three slices of bacon. Go ahead and let those cool at room temperature for a while before you assemble everything. Otherwise, A, you're not gonna wanna touch them because it's gonna be hot, and then just easier when everything's at room temperature to assemble your wraps. Now our bacon has cooled off a little bit and it's time for assembly. So real quick, I'll go over the total amounts of everything. So we need one wellness tortilla. We have three slices of our thick cut bacon. We're gonna get two tablespoons or one serving, which is also 30 milliliters or about 30 grams of our fat-free ranch. We're gonna do three leaves or about 40 grams of our romaine lettuce. We're gonna do four ounces of our deli turkey and then 100 grams of tomato, which I actually still need to cut up real quick, but I'll do that as I assemble everything. So yeah, let's just put this together. All right, and just like that, our wrap is complete, as you guys can see right there. Absolutely delicious. This thing is absolutely fully loaded. So when I say a wrap, it's kind of like a taco. It's just absolutely full. So you kind of have to eat it like a taco or get bigger tortillas. That's the one thing that is a little bit annoying. But if you wrap it up actually well, you can eat it as like a big taco. But otherwise, I'm gonna wrap this in some foil because I actually have to go to work in like five minutes. And this is gonna be my meal at work. But real quick, I'll go ahead and read off the macros for you guys. So for this entire wrap, it is 413 calories, 34 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat and 39 grams of protein. Pretty good if I do say so myself. Something you can make multiple of, I personally say wrap them in foil. If you do wanna be able to wrap it, I'd say use less lettuce and you should be able to wrap it up like a true wrap. Otherwise, go ahead, just go ahead, fold it, put it in some foil and this is gonna be my lunch at work. If I didn't run to work, next thing in the video will be option number four. And for our fourth option of our cold meal prep, we have a chickpea wrap. So this is gonna be a vegan meal prep. We've got some chickpeas right here. Boom. These are the garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Then we're gonna make a wrap. Once again, we're using our Extreme Wellness Tortillas by Olay. They've got some Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. We're also gonna have some vegetables, of course, tomato and lettuce. First thing we need to do is go ahead, crack open our chickpeas, go ahead, drain those, dry those with some paper towels, and go ahead and cook them over on the stove. Real quick, I'll go over the amounts of everything that you'll need as well per serving. So what we'll need is 50 grams of tomato. The lettuce you can really have as much as you want. I'm gonna be using 20 grams just for macro purposes. We're gonna be using four tablespoons or four servings of our sauce. Then we're gonna have 15 grams or half a serving of our ranch. We're gonna use one wellness tortilla or 50 calories worth tortilla. And then we're gonna be using 160 grams of chickpeas or two servings. Now we have our chickpeas drained, dried off with some paper towels and out into this bowl. We're gonna add three of our four tablespoons of hot sauce onto the chickpeas, as well as some garlic powder and salt. This is just preference, these are optional. I highly recommend the garlic powder at least to add a little bit of flavor, but you can add both. You can even add a little bit of pepper if you want, but the hot sauce is more than enough in my opinion. We're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of our hot sauce. Go ahead and add our garlic powder, as well as our salt. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Get a skillet over medium heat, get that nice and warm. And then once that's warm, go ahead and throw this chickpea hot sauce concoction down the stove. Now we've got our skillet over medium heat, pretty hot, and we're gonna hit it with some non-stick as always. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw down our chickpeas with our hot sauce, garlic powder, and salt. And go ahead and cook that mixture for three to five minutes. Chickpeas should get a little crispy, a little bit drier. And then what we're gonna do is actually pull it from the heat after they're done cooking and add the other tablespoon of hot sauce. Now that we've got our chickpeas nicely cooked up, dried out a little bit, a little bit of crisp, 
we're gonna go ahead and add the other tablespoon of our buffalo sauce and then set this side to cool off. Then we need to cut up our tomato and lettuce and then we just gotta assemble our burrito. Alrighty, now it's time for assembly. We have our chickpeas cooled off. We also cut up our tomato and lettuce to add to the wrap. We have a ranch and now we're gonna go ahead and just, yeah, assemble our burrito. We call it a wrap burrito, really whatever you want. But first thing first, we're gonna throw it on a wrap. I like to put down my lettuce first. A little bit of tomato. This is really all preference. If you wanna add some avocado, feel free. That's another great option for this meal. Then we'll go ahead and add our chickpeas. The great thing about this, a full can is four servings, so we're gonna use half of it. So I can go ahead and just eyeball out half. And we also get to add our frat free ranch on there. Like I said, just 15 grams. Alrighty, and there you have it. There's our buffalo chickpea wrap. We've got our lettuce, chickpeas, ranch, all that goodness. And I'll go ahead and read off the macros for this wrap real quick. Comes out to be a total of 305 calories. It is 62 grams of carbs, only four grams of fat, and 20 grams of protein. This is also vegan, vegetarian, um, meatless, which I don't eat too often, but I figured, you know what, I gotta show you guys some love, all my vegans out there, and go ahead and make this for you guys. All right, we gotta go ahead and give this a quick taste test. That's pretty good. I swear, I have a problem where I just absolutely overflow my burritos. I like can't find tortillas big enough for everything, but this is a slight mess, but it also is really good. And I'm not a huge fan of spice. If you know, you've watched this channel before, I don't, can't really handle my heat. So this is definitely gonna knock me on my ass. My nose is gonna start running in here in a little bit, but but as a whole, that is really good. I'm definitely gonna make that more. But I will say, I've never had chickpeas straight up like this in like a wrap. I have them like chickpea pasta or hummus, but I've never had them like this and I'm, I'm a fan. So overall, those are four cold meal prep options you could just eat it right away, or you can go ahead and put it in the fridge, make a bigger batch, make a few of them, whatever you wanna do, but those are four cold meal prep ideas that don't require any reheating. I highly recommend the protein parfait, because it is so easy to make. Just prep it, leave it in the fridge, add your granola in the bag, and then I will say my favorite of all of them, though, has to be that summer salad. It is so good, that pasta salad. Right, Maisie? Yeah, she knows what's up. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.